Okay, so what's up guys, this is Lakshya here and let us continue with the next question of our bit manipulation playlist. So this next question is about our bitwise and of range numbers. The question is a medium category, so let us read the question, it's very self-explanatory as well. So we have been given two integers left and right that present, represent the range inclusive of left to inclusive of right. Return the bitwise and of all the numbers in this range. So for left equals to 5 and right equals to 10, the output is first. So let us first understand the input and output and then we can think of all the possible approaches. Right? Great. So we have what we have here. So how for left equals to 5 and right equals to 10, the output is 4. Let us write the binary representation of 5. So it is nothing but uh, 1, 0, 1. Right? And then we have 6 which is nothing but 1, 1, 0. And 7 is nothing but 1, 1, 1. So we need to return. 5 and 6 and 7 right so if we do if we do 5 and 6 what would be given 101 110 and and then you will get 0 0 and 1 then I need to do the and with 7 7 is nothing but 1 1 1 if I do and operator 0 0 and 1 and you can see 4 is your answer right so whatever we did that is the method one that is the brute force approach whatever the question is saying we just do that and that would become your brute force approach so that and that is why it is very easy to guess as well so method one and again will again take you o of n time capacity as o of one that we will calculate the and for the given range now this and it takes o of one but since we are traversing in the range so it would be o of n right now what is method two try to pause this video try to think of the approach that how can we do this in log n right so let me write some particular bunch of numbers. So I will write 101, and then 6 is nothing but 110, 7 is nothing but 111. And can you observe something here? Can you observe something here? So if this is 5, then definitely next number is your even number. And even number cannot end with a set bit. Why? Because if we have a set bit and the end, then definitely this will give you a weightage of 2 power 0, right? 2 power 0 is nothing but 1. So adding 1 to any number will give you an odd number. If you add 1 to an even number, it will give you an odd number, right? So to get an even number, definitely there should no one present at the last and that is why. And maybe you can understand that is one of the reasons, or that is why the reason you can see that there will be an unset bit if you have a even number. So similarly for 8, if you see for 8, it would be 1, 0, 0, right? So what we need to observe here is, what we need to observe here is, we need to find the constant part. If at such place the bits stop flipping, then definitely to its left hand side every bit will remain same. Right? So, so that means we need to start from the right hand side. We need to start on the right hand side and we need to cover. We need to cover that when your range. Jabtak hamara range flip on a kardeh. That is, we find the constant part. So, what I am saying is that for 5 and 7, what are the values? 1, 0 and 1. For 7, it is 1, 1, 1. Right? So, when I am at this position, I will see what I will see. Hmm. So, I will check that my left and right, while, while my left is not equals to right. Right? Because I want the flip to discontinue at that position. Right? So, what we can see 5 and 7 is not equal as of now. So we will reduce one bit and I will just say count plus plus. So count was initially 0, it become 1. So again, what I will do, I will right shift the numbers. That is left equals to left, right shift 1. So left, uh, right shift 1 or you can also say left is equals to left by 2. And similarly, you can say right is equals to right by 2. So again, 5 by 2 will give you no, or, or, or 5 by 2 will give you what? 2 and 7 by 2 will give you 3. Again left and right is not equal, right? So again I will do a count plus plus 2. So again 2 by 2 is 1, 3 by 2 is 1. So now you have a constant part, right? So at this place you will not do a count plus plus and this is your weightage. This is your final answer. You will just say whatever your left and right is. So left here is 1. So I have traveled two times from my right bit from the right mode base to the left side right. So what is the weightage here is so to get the weightage I will just say 1 left shift 2 right. So this is nothing but 1 into 2 star 2 which is which will give you 4. So I think this part of screen is not visible let me just scroll it through. So 1 into 2 star 1 into 
2 power 2 will give you a square and 4 is your answer right so what is the logic here you just need to check that once your left and right is equal right and definitely all the bits before it would be same right and you can take the weightage whatever or what the you can take the weightage for the times you have traversed from the rightmost bit to the left to the left bit until you have left and right as equal correct so for the first glance if you're solving this question for the first time maybe it would be a bit uh, difficult to digest the logic but then again spend some time with this question try to run in some more cases and you will eventually get it right yeah so let us switch back to the code now so that's the code in java we have so while left while left not equals to right we are uh, right shifting it or you can say right shifting or dividing by two of both the numbers and we are doing count pluses and the last we just have to say either you do left uh, left shift c or right left shift c right that remains same great so what is the time complexity o of log n would be the time complexity and o of one will be your space complexity the same code will run in c process as well so let me just uh, hit the run button for you great so that's been done right so uh, you can get all the source code available in my dsa repository you can start and fork my dsa repository to get out with the source code maybe uh, and yes it, it consists of many standard questions we have covered in the past that is from gfgp reading and everywhere so yes uh, what else what else so yeah if you have uh, answered the solution and the problem uh, problem and solution as well so please like share and subscribe till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care let us meet again in the tomorrow's video